Hi, welcome. I'm Stephen Budden, author, creator, alchemist of broken hearts. So about 10 years ago, I was out with a friend in a nightclub in Portland when the woman I was with threatened to kill herself. She couldn't be alone that long, she warned me. So I ran through the city in slacks and dress shoes. It was raining and I heard some dramatic music playing in my head. I was stressed and also detached. I knew in my heart that I was done with it. This, I vowed, was the last run through Portland <laughs> in slacks in the rain that I would ever do. And when I arrived to our tiny apartment, heart racing, there she was on the floor in a pile with a knife at her wrist. So I realized something had to change, to put it lightly. But I had no idea how to make the leap. I mean, I'd read some self-help stuff. Very little of it made any difference. I'd studied Zen meditation for years and yoga and a lot of spiritual texts. And I was still carrying something with me that was attracting this pattern of disempowering relationships. I was at a loss for just how to be successful and what that meant. I knew I was mirroring my parents' relationship in some way. Now I'm on a, in a relationship that I love with two daughters that I adore. I would not have been able to make that leap without a huge momentous event that led me onto another path. I was drifting out in the ocean to get a break from it all to get a break from the drama that was on the shore when a huge wave swept in and slammed me headfirst into the shore. While I tumbled around in the surf between dark and light, my life flashed before my eyes, as they say, and when I crawled out of the water, my body was flooded with this sensation that was hard to describe. It was something like aliveness. It, it was painful because I wasn't used to it. However, I knew it was closer to being alive than what I'd been in the past. The CT scan showed that I'd broken my neck, and moreover, the doctor said, you're so lucky. If you, if you were 10 pounds heavier, you'd probably be dead. Because my head hit the ocean floor, and it was my body that kind of slammed into it. And my eyes filled with tears at this point. I was seven days into a fast, and I weighed exactly 10 pounds less than I usually did. So lucky indeed. Now I hear that message in another way. You're lucky this trauma t pulled you out of that path. So after that, I realized that life was short and things needed to be different. It wasn't the end of suffering by any means. It was just an alternate timeline. I changed my relationship to this word called accident. I now had more will that I could create the life that I chose for myself. Now in shamanism, a blow to the head is, is often a call to that path of healing in the self and the tribe, shamanism. And that's how I eventually came to view it. I enrolled at a three-year esoteric healing program at a now defunct healing school in San Francisco. And I learned so much about how to contain this experience, about how to unbreak my neck as it were, and not only that, about how to use the break to guide me to and through the other breaks in my life. I'd been walking around as a wound, a broken heart wandering around the city. So this bigger break was just a way for the universe to say, hey, it's time to deal with this. And deal with it I did. And I'm very grateful for that every day. Now, your wound will be different. However, what I did learn was how holistic everything was, how limited the current paradigms are, how people that glimpse this big picture are sort of shut down by the establishment. That's no surprise. I had people coming to me from all over to heal all kinds of patterns. And really what I did was just connect the dots in this holistic way. And no one else was doing it, really. People were doing little pieces of it. Now, my favorite breakthroughs were breakthroughs in relationship patterns because relationship patterns are the most direct manifestation of our core wounds. And just to see someone become fulfilled in relationship from relationships that are fraught with suffering is very beautiful and fulfilling and profound. These relationships are kind of playgrounds where our inner child either comes out to play or sulks away to hide. They're profound spiritual boot camps. So, also, as we repeat our childhood patterns in relationship in subtle and, and sometimes obvious ways, um, what we need to work on most is surfaced. Something keeps reappearing until we, until we find a way in ourselves to resolve that. Something is incomplete. Now, looking back, I'd say the universe is very generous. You may call this universe something else, God, destiny. You'll get a lot of opportunities to heal something, in my experience, and this is your chance to seize this one. Once you seize one, they all start to kind of unravel. The whole thing unravels. 
however you're suffering now, that is your gateway to this better life and this higher quality of relationship. You just have to pass through what seems like an impossible fire and it's okay and it'll be okay. Now you're very gifted I know and talented and sensitive, conscious. You deserve to have a powerful and fulfilling relationship that amplifies these qualities. The art of relationship is something we tragically don't learn in our culture. We learn it kind of through just being thrust into a ring and trying to figure it out with all these paradigms and all this programming that aren't necessarily empowering. I won't go directly into that right now. However, having better relationships ultimately means becoming a better person. You need to be the person that shows up in the relationship and the person that attracts the higher vibration interactions. There aren't any shortcuts. There are strategies that will obviously support, but really those fall away to reveal exactly where we still are unless we change at the core level. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the shortest time frames possible. Jamming 10 years, <laughs> a decade of work with clients into a few weeks. And I want to spare you this crushing blow, this blow, my neck blow. I'm going to show you how this all works in my experience so that you can use whatever you've been through as your catalyst. You don't have to keep waiting for louder and louder cries from the universe. Now, right now, I'm going to send you a special training that will lay the groundwork for your new life. It'll change your life if you let it. And in years to come, you'll experience the best relationships of your, li of your life. The best relationship of your life, if you just want to have one more, or the best relationships of your life. It's, it's really up to you what you manifest and what you create. Now, I want you to look up from your life and feel the buzz, that aliveness in your heart of pure gratitude. Realize how beautiful it all is, how interconnected it all is, and how guided you've been. Now I'm in a hotel in Florida, so I have a beautiful view. I'm looking out the window. Just let me know where to send the training. That's it. I'll see you on the other side. Again, I'm Stephen Button, alchemist of broken hearts and broken bones, and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much.